right guys welcome back to another video today guys i'm gonna be making some nice homemade salisbury steak we have a small hurricane coming through the area looking to drop a lot of rain on us so how about some nice comfort food let's jump into this video and i'll show you how i did it all right so my ingredients for this is i have one pound of ground beef i have one egg this is some Cajun seasoning, some black pepper, my Uncle Steve shake, the spicy herb. This is some chicken bouillon cube. I wanted the paste, but my sister brought this. And I have some onion powder, some kitchen bouquet for color, and some all-purpose flour. Alright guys, so the first thing that I'm going to do here, now I have my ground beef inside of the uh, bowl. And excuse that mess on my cotton board. And I'm going to come in with just one egg to this. Now you could add two eggs if you would like. But I find that one egg per pound of ground beef works good for me. And then I'm going to add my uh, black pepper to this. And then some onion powder. And all right, and then I'm going to come in and add my uh, Uncle Steve Shake the Spicy Earth to this. And guys, this is my favorite Uncle Steve Shake right here, and I'm about to run out, so I'm going to have to place that order for some more. You guys should definitely check that out. Then I'm going to come in with my Cajun seasoning. Now, this isn't uh, too hot or anything like that. And someone is ringing my cell phone. Somebody wants to be YouTube famous. I'm not going to edit that out. Okay, guys, I am back. My mom talks on the phone so much that she accidentally called me. And I'm right in the house. <laughs> oh, man, you can't leave this stuff out. But anyway, guys, I just got everything mixed together now, my eggs and my seasonings. I just got that mixed up really well. And then I'm going to come in and add a little bit of flour to this to bring it all together. Now, you can add onions at this point if you want, but I don't. I just rather have my onions in the gravy. Alright, so I'm going to give that just a quick mix, get all of that flour mixed in, and then I'll start forming uh, my steaks. Alright guys, so I am ready to fry these now, and I do apologize, I didn't record the part with me uh, forming these in the shape. You just want to form them into like an oval shape. And then I added a little vegetable oil to my pan. And I just want to get these browned off on each side. And then I'll make my gravy and put them back in the gravy. And we'll go from there. All right, guys. So it's been about three minutes now. And I just want to come in and give these a flip. And you can see that they're holding up perfectly. None of them are breaking apart. So that lets me know that that one egg and that uh, flour that I use was just perfect. So I just want to get all of these turned over. And let them brown on the other side. And then I'll come back and get them out and start making my gravy for this. Okay, I am back guys. Now we just want to come in and get these patties out of here. These aren't cooked all the way through yet. Um, they're going to be inside of the gravy cooking for a while. So these will definitely have a chance to get done. I just want to brown them on both sides. And then what I'm going to do is come in and add my onions to this. You could add bell peppers if you want, but I don't. Mm 
All right, so I'll get the rest of my onions added and let these cook down for a little while. And then I will be back to add my flour to this. Okay, got my onions just about tender. Let's come in and add some flour to this. And we just want to give this a good mix. And let this cook to remove that flour taste, that raw taste that flour has. I'm not going to try to develop any color on this or anything because I have my kitchen bouquet for color. So I just want to cook this for a couple of minutes just to remove that uh, raw flour taste. Alright, so I am back. I have let that cook for a couple of minutes. And now I just want to add my water to this. You could use uh, beef broth or beef stock or whatever you call it. But I'm just going to be using some plain H2O. And I just want to stir this. And I'll ask you why I'm pouring this super slow, but eventually it's all going to come together. And then I'll go on and add some more seasonings to this. Okay, so I have my gravy nice and smooth. I'm going to come in and add a little bit of black pepper to this. Then I'm going to come back and add just a little bit more of onion powder to this. And then I'm going to come in and use all of the strength that I have within me to break up these little cubes of chicken bouillon. And remind me to never sit in the store with my sister again. <laughs> because this is not what I wanted. I wanted the paste. And I specifically told you better than bouillon paste. And you still brought me this. But anyways. I got a couple of those added. And then I'm going to come in and add my kitchen bouquet to it. Give it a little color. Okay, so after I get my seasonings added in, let's come in and add a little color to this. I'm going to put my kitchen bouquet inside of here. And I want this to be a little darker, so I'm going to add just a little bit more. And I'll get that mixed in. Now I'll start adding my hamburger steaks back to these, back to this. All right, once I get this last one in, I'm going to cover it and just let it cook for about 30, 35 minutes. And I'll be back and check it. All right. It has been about 15 minutes now. And you can see that my gravy has a nice boil going on here. My onions definitely could cook a little bit longer. And my gravy could be thicker. So I just want to kind of flip these over. And then I'm going to cover them back and let them go for maybe another 15, 20 minutes. And this is also on a kind of medium high. I don't want it to be too low. So a nice medium high should be fine. All 
All right, guys, I am back. It's been another 15 minutes or so. And you can see that these hamburger sticks look absolutely beautiful. My gravy has cooked down, gotten much thicker. I can tell that my onions are also nice and tender. So this meal is done. My hamburger is also holding up very well. Nothing broken or ripped apart or anything. So I am going to plate this up and give just a taste test for you guys. All right, guys, let's give this a taste. See what we're working with. You know me, I like a little hot sauce on mine. That's my one of my oldest brother, Eric Fault. Every time we sat down to eat dinner and we had stew chicken or smothered pork chop or something, there he was with that Texas pizza. I just kind of picked up on that. All right. Well, let's try this big one right here for us. That's nice and tender. Holds together good. Mm. Get some of that rice. that corn. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Man, the first thing that comes out is that Cajun seasoning. Not spicy, not salty. That's just loaded with flavor. That's really good. Mm -hmm. One more bite. Guys, you definitely got to make this. Mm. All right, all right, guys. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment. Also, subscribe to the channel if you are new. And share this video if you can with your friends and family. Also, follow me on Instagram and Facebook, Cooking and Chilling with Kenny. And, guys, I probably won't be able to post again. Uh, weather permitting until Monday So definitely look for that video. That's gonna be some smothered uh, pork steaks So until next time guys peace